With the European forces now fully withdrawn from Afghanistan, EU defence ministers are meeting in Slovenia to discuss what next. The bloc's foreign policy chief, Joseph Bure, said this week that Afghanistan is a wake-up call. He says it's a moment for Europe to invest in a rapid reaction force, to be better prepared for future crises. So is Afghanistan a window of opportunity for the EU to become more strategically independent? I think this is more a window of reality, that uh, Europe does not have yet the, uh, neither the political will nor the real capabilities, especially in airlift, uh, surveillance, intelligence, logistic, uh, force protection, to do the kind of job that they uh, were doing with the uh, United States forces in Afghanistan. Whether this is going to really produce a game change and whether we're going to see, especially the Germans, which remain the swing state in Europe and defense, being much more willing to put first money and second to also evolve in the strategic culture, be willing to take risks, be willing to send German forces in harm's way, uh, this is going to be a real, real question. The discussion of strategic independence has and always will be there after failures in the Balkans during the 90s and more recently Libya. But the Sahel region is where the real test lies. You can have all the headlines, all the announcements, but the real acid test is the Sahel. Whether the Europeans, especially the French, but with the Europeans are going to manage to hold in the Sahel, because I could see as soon as we saw the news in Afghanistan, I thought about the Sahel. The moment France withdraw from the Sahel, you will have a series of countries who for sure will collapse and take over by criminal terrorist groups. And then we really do have a problem very close to Europe. EU member states remain divided when it comes to defence, particularly on the idea of an EU army. Whether Afghanistan provides a springboard for this remains to be seen. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.